Hi everyone, it's Handy Mandy from Handy Mandy TV and this week I'll be showing you some artwork and it's going to be done out of melted crayons. Now the traditional method is using a hairdryer or a glue gun so I'm going to be showing you a different way that actually you can use it like paint. So first you're going to need a picture. I'm going to show you what it turned out like. What? Look at that. Does that look awesome or what? So, you're going to need a canvas. You can get this size at the dollar store. Um, you can get the, this is a dollar twenty-five. You can get uh, the larger size for two dollars. So they have a whole bunch there. Um, so you're going to need your crayons, which are also at the dollar store for a buck twenty-five. For like, I think it's like twenty-four. Make sure to unwrap them from the paper and get yourself a knife because you're going to be cutting it into small pieces. They're easier to melt that way. Um, so, the traditional method is to use hair dryers. So, I have a hair dryer with a button for cool and uh, a couple settings. One for hot, warm, and the other one for high and low. So that way I can control the heat and how far away I'm doing it from the canvas will determine how fast it melts and whether you got to make sure too that it doesn't start bleeding and moving so if you have uh, like your painting with inside the lines you got to make sure that the heat and the air isn't pushing it out because I know that did happen to me so I had to fix that so um, you can also use a glue gun and even though I didn't use it in this particular one because I wanted to mix my own colors and you can't do that with a glue gun um, this might be interesting to do more sculptural 3D like like coming off the canvas so I'm thinking of exploring to that effect um, so you're also gonna need a pencil and eraser to draw the outlines of your picture onto your canvas you will also need a certain amount of paintbrush sizes um, I'm just make sure that they're really old and disposable and they're not really precious to you because you are going to be you know mixing it with wax and um, they are kind of crispy even though I've cleaned them. Um, I end up using the smaller sizes because I have a small canvas and I have a lot of detail at the end. So one is square and um, the other one is long and pointed so I can get those details. And you're going to need some wax paper. Well, Nash, you don't need wax paper but it's a good idea because then you can practice your techniques before you get it to your canvas, like if you want to blend or see how the, um, the, the different reactions of different heat sources. So you can experiment and figure out which methods you should use for your different areas of your canvas. Now this is the third option that I figured out on myself for heating up your crayons to do this. So you're going to need a coaster, a pot, and you're going to need some boiling water in this kettle. So you're going to need a kettle to boil water. I end up boiling at least a dozen times a whole bunch of water. And you want to do is fill it up so it's just a little bit above the, um, from the top of the rim. Because you need the water to literally be directly contacted or almost on t like n with your bottom of your little palette which you can also get at the dollar store. These are the round ones from Michael's. You can get the little more like oval egg shaped ones over at the dollar store. Um, this one actually fit perfectly so that when I put it in here, the water is practically touching like the bottom of the little, you know, palette slots. So that way the heat is on it and it's melting it so much faster because it's not just hot, like the heat, it's got to be directly like directed at it. That's why the hair dryer, the heat is directed at the uh, the crayons that are like glued or whatever to the canvas or the hot glue gun. It's like directly heating it so that it comes out. Like it's got to be direct heat. Like because I tried a wood burner in proximity to it and unless I touched it, it wouldn't heat up. And then there was wax on the wood burner and it would just start burning and it doesn't really melt that way. So. 
Um, you're also going to need a couple of towels. As you can see, I use this one to start blotting out my colors if I want to change to a new one. You want to make sure you don't mix your colors. I would suggest having one to wipe your paintbrush off when you're changing colors or when you're cleaning your brush and another one to lay underneath your canvas as you're painting. Make sure it's not, it's the canvas is flat because the last thing you want to do is have your melted crayons and everything just starts sliding down the canvas because unless that's your effect, which wasn't mine, um, you want to make sure that it's flat when you're painting. Um, you may or may not need this unless you're going to bring the towel with you. Like I end up cleaning my brushes by going to the tap, turning on hot water, letting the water run through it and then using the Kleenex to wipe it off. So you could always just bring your towel with you. Um, so last but not least, you can mix your colors. So if you are moving on, like say I wasn't using yellow anymore, so then I would clean out under hot running water and wipe it all the, uh, the old like yellow so that I can make room for new colors. And even though they're in here, there's still a lot of color in there. So what I'm gonna do is take my knife, take those out, and put, I'm not sure entirely how, but I'm going to put it into like some little container so that I still have this in case I want to go back and use it. And that's it. So the rest of this video is going to be just some short clips of how I did it. So I want you guys to go nuts because this is so much better than just, you know, gluing a whole bunch of crayons and just having them melt down because, I mean, it's awesome that you can do that, but at the same time, there's so much more potential. So I want you guys to explore. If you guys come up with new techniques, I'd love to hear about it because, you know, I'm here to, you know, learn just as much as you guys. So let me know in the comments and if you guys have any requests, I would love, love to hear from you guys. Um, I think I've only had like a couple comments, so I'm really excited to hear from you guys at all. Um, so yeah, I will see you guys next week. Bye!